All right, so this video I made, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but Truth Tiger just made one that was practically identical. And I was like, he's so on the fucking money, hitting the nail on the head, like every time. Now, I don't know if he was talking about narcissistic people exactly. I guess so. I think so. Um, but yeah, there, there's certain people, I'll link his video below, there's certain people that just are jealous of everything that you have. And they will set out to destroy everything they can, really. Like, let's say you got a new car, they're jealous of it. You got a new promotion, they're jealous of it. You got a new job, a new anything that they don't have, they will be highly envious of it and want to destroy it. Now, I see this particularly um, with dating. Like, if you're in a relationship and they're not, they're going to try to fuck with your relationship however they can. And it's disgusting, really. It's disgusting behavior. Oh. Um, because they, they can't control their jealousy or, or their envy of what you have. And they just want to destroy it, really. Puppy, get your fucking ass out of... God damn it. <laughs> they just want to destroy it. Now, the video that I made that I failed to upload, but it talks about the exact same thing. I told this little... Go watch this video. I'll link it below. Um, I told a story about my brother and I when we used to go on vacation. Um, you know, family vacations. We'd build sandcastles. And the waves would, you know, knock them over. So we started building further back. So that they would last, you know. Throughout the vacation or whatever. And I started out like every morning we go out there and somebody had kicked the sandcastles over. They weren't hit by the waves or anything like that. It was blatantly obvious that somebody like kicked them over or trampled on them and shit like that. And that's kind of how these people are. They, they just travel down the beach knocking sandcastles over or left and wherever they, see, wherever they see them just fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. That's all they want to do. They just leave this wake of destruction and chaos in their, in, well, in their wake. That's what they do. If they can't have it or they can't build it, nobody else can. And as the saying goes, you know, it's easier to destroy than create. And that's the path these people take. They want to destroy everything. And it's very similar to the tree video that I made a few days ago. It's easier to just cut the whole thing down than fix my new problem. So my brother and I, my brother being a little bit more vindictive than me, decided we were going to start putting big-ass rocks in the sandcastles and build around it. So that way, when somebody came to kick it, well, they knew they fucked up. <laughs> Stupid, but whatever. At least they had to pay a consequence for their actions. So, you know, you got to start doing that with yourself emotionally, um, mentally, is putting a rock in your sandcastle that you built. You know, you can't have, let, or you can't let these people just run around destroying all your shit all the time. You got to protect yourself. And that's what the rock is. Deterrent. So, you got to make yourself, you know, not an easy object to fuck with. Especially around jealous people, like Truth Tiger was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's, man, he hit it on the head so fucking hard, it's not even funny. <clears throat> But put a rock in your sandcastle. Do not let these jealous, envious, narcissistic, possibly, maybe BPD people 
fuck with your shit. Because they will. They're jealous. I mean, when the last person that's really fucked with me was just completely jealous of me being in a relationship. And they sought out to destroy it. To knock my sandcastle over. And... It's just... Fuck those people, man. Fuck them. Seriously. I don't know. Go ruin your own lives. Not everybody else's. And put a rock in your sandcastle. Don't know.